this sign here it's been here already for some time I estimate maybe even a month or so but it was in one piece but yesterday as I walked past through here I found one completely destroyed uh, this was used this was to be used to alert me uh, to never go this way again because of the Roma people who live next door in a village right next to ours uh, it's Jehovah's cell the thing about it is it's not even the Roma people who had a problem with me it became clear during the Roma uh, interventions against me that one of the individuals who have the biggest problem with me and with the Roma people was no other than Zvone Mali that's basically the light like that's a chapel right there a barn I'm gonna demonstrate you it's real close over there uh, people here from my village they were the one they had a problem and with me and with Roma and with everything I had really nothing to do with the Roma right now I am having to document something I've seen the yesterday uh, in anything I will see I will promptly document and the time is very near follow up with the prosecutors this time my using state prosecutors to go after the people who caused this harm uh, the Roma guy uh, both of these Roma guys these guys they did not transport me to Italy only they transported me to Italy many many times and he always had a very really nice car uh, the thing is there was a some kind of a G20 or something like this in Italy uh, where there was like governments participating not only Italian government but people like Ursula von der Leyen from the whole Europe there was people like they had like in Rome I think in Rome Rome is the capital of Italy like uh, some kind of important meeting or something like this it was this Roma guy who delivered me with the car and it's also why uh, Slovenian government had to help him out it wasn't Slovenian government only but it was also Italian government I never was interested in going after him what what the hell I have to do with a impoverished Roma community here like what the fuck I mean this is my my purpose in this life or what this this is not my purpose I mean I got nothing to do with it I mean from my perspective from my point of view these people are welcome here I don't have any problems with them it's somebody else that has a big big problem they've had a big problems not only with them but also with me I remember from the village it would be Metoti Erman a neighbor police officer it would be others police investigators that very early in the mornings like you're talking about the four o'clock five o'clock in the morning they would deliver me with their cars to to this Roma individual who traveled a lot to Italy or the two individuals it doesn't matter uh, there are three brothers uh, there are three brothers and Slovenian government claim me they only want one brother to stay here uh, they don't want 
uh, other two brothers to stay here and they cited me as a reason for not wanting them here uh, because of unstable uh, uh, employment or basically due to unemployment. Uh, so it was somebody else that really was after them. It was really somebody else who didn't want them here. For me personally, I don't have a problem with these people here. Uh, they would deliver me in the mornings to to this two guys, three guys there. The third guy has two sons, and he works at the uh, uh, I don't know or at TPV or he works at the Renault, but I think he's at TPV. That's like a uh, some kind of uh, vacationing kind of uh, trailers uh, uh, transformed uh, maybe vacation homes mobile vacation homes uh, company here in Novo Mesto it's TPV it's, it's a big company it's a very big company actually that's the company grew right through my case from zero to a really really large uh, i don't know corporation company whatever and uh, they literally drilled me based on police did police abused police harassed with this prosecutors slovenian prosecutors they were eating my life literally and uh the more harm, psychological harm, uh, and it became also psychiatric violence they did to me, uh, the more they noticed uh, that I was eager to get out of Slovenia, which you don't have to be a brainer, right, to understand that kind of issue, right? And so they would deliver me in the morning to them and they would take me to Italy and they noticed how happy I was that I went with them to Italy. Uh, because this is this this is a shithole, this Slovenia. This is this is beyond disgusting. What Slovenia did to me, uh, this is uh, truly a despicable, disgraceful act against humanity. Anything as disgusting as it possibly can be in this world. And that's exactly what the British royals demanded Slovenia to uh, to comply with their agreement for the cost of this genocide against me. British awarded extremely well Slovenian economy, uh, and they ended up building through the variety of the new technological breakthroughs, uh, all sorts of companies, not only here in Slovenia, but consequently uh, it empowered Eastern Europe, Poland and Czech Republic and Ukraine and especially Russia. Uh, so this genocide is as firm and real as anything can possibly be. And the one who believed is going to profit from within and did profit it enormously economically was a king of Thailand the two kings of Thailand that's uh, Bumibol Aduliade and Mahavaray Varalangakorn that's a present king uh, the idea the British had was for me to gather the proofs about the genocide uh, British were the ones that incited in cancer uh, in cyst kidney cyst poisoning and variety of other issues they demanded for me to be simply destroyed uh, the truth to come out uh, and force me through the Slovenian genocidal government 
to run for life the last time once all the proofs are gathered to a land of death that's basically a Thailand uh, as I said basically a country where you are as good as dead you are dead actually it's a country that is a place for people who commit crimes uh, in my opinion 90% of those that commit crimes uh, are through the prison system brainwashed using MK Ultra on how they have to run to Thailand and so on and people make this crazy run to Thailand and then it's every fucking trace that is lost behind them that's like fucking death like one-way street basically it happens all the time that's that's a country of human smuggling like a highway like a super highway to nowhere to death to dead end basically country that destroyed my life with its presence in MK Ultra. What am I gonna go to document right now? That's really interesting stuff. I recalled yesterday when I went for walking. There's a little thing I wanna go and document. Now, this is a very important case for me, this case. Uh, so, there's no way I, I can't let go of this stuff. It's too damn big for me. It's too important for me. Hope that you noticed that this is a new trail that goes behind our uh, village uh, in the terms of asphalt. Yeah, it's now asphalt. It was a Masadam, uh, like a country road with just about what you're about to see actually this was actually pretty pretty road uh, sometimes a little muddy if it was rainy uh, quite muddy actually it was not too good not too good and it was also deliberately completed uh, once I would lay all the MK Ultra proofs out so that nobody could contest my testimonies anymore uh, that's when it was uh paved with the asphalt even brain my brainwashed me severely that it's actually uh the farmers that loot lost money okay so one is going straight to this jihova cello here yeah this is basically where the incident took place the other day. This is also asphalt here, yeah, so if you would continue. But I came from that side and I'm continuing on this here, on this road here. Parts of the road uh, I went through, the parts of the road I went through uh, were replicated during MK Ultra in Bosnia and Herzegovina. One part uh, of the road was replicated uh, in Romania, in a Bucharest, uh, in a suburb of the Bucharest. It's actually something Andrew Tete was involved in and his brother uh, yeah. uh, Another part was replicated uh, in the area of Maribor uh, That's in Slovenia But on the other side of Slovenia Another part was replicated uh, Also somewhere near uh, Slovenian Croatian border so the road that I have gone through right now that's actually 
the roads they have Slovenian government would deliver me uh, to the replicas of the landscape uh, which would very 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 closely uh, turn into uh, very closely with the replicate basically the future uh, by asphalt paved okay so I see that there is some trees here and stuff uh, they worked hard they have a so this is this is obviously my left here on the left side they have a forest uh, over there one Roma guy was born here he his father married uh, into a family basically uh, completely native from here he is here longer than I was he was concerned apparently with me uh, as per my having problems with him why the fuck would I have a problems if I never had a problems with him that's definitely okay this is already finished now this is a big piece of dung and uh, this is what I was told it is what's gonna come out of my uterus too bad yesterday it was in one piece it looked like uh, half diarrhea basically totally and I, uh, basically this is the evidence I'm gonna use uh, I was told uh, during NK Ultra that I'm gonna barely function and such stuff and I was told completely other stuff I, I was told that it's gonna be finished with me within one year maximum two years and uh, this shit is already going as you have noticed for quite some time now started in 2017 six years without basically medical attention without not medical attention but without the right to check myself to examine myself for medical problems the very serious medical problems physical not mental health problems also the mental health problems were used to block me from employment to destroy my life literally to decimate even to even used to block me from the right to medical examination a physical part so that was the stuff I noticed yesterday yes when the kidneys are failing uh, I don't know kidneys or liver or whatever they told me uh, that's when you have a diarrhea that X command uh, comes it looks like that yeah and that's how you always gonna be so stuff right there is more than just uh, by the coincidence it was already involved in MK Ultra and they dumped this next to this Roma parcel here where they have the forest the truth however is that it's got nothing to do with them the, uh, the people from my village used this Roma people to harass, to intimidate, to torture basically and they wanted a war between this Roma people and myself that's what the people from the village this shit here that you see this is not they, this is not from the Roma people this is from the somebody who has animals and did his job at the same location the same place as to it was raining that's why this unfortunately have fallen apart but this was like completely the stuff I already suffer from uh, there is nothing this is nothing it's not even it's nothing solid it's it's like ready to just nothing I mean barely have diarrhea basically <laughs> that's something I suffered already for since the new year
I urinate blood and it's this kind of stuff that goes on. That's actually even, I was told like an end stage of the, I don't know, kidney or whatever disease. Oh, I want you to know the price of this bullshit. The Roma people, however, they told me during MK Ultra that I'm not supposed to urinate when walking through the forest uh, on this side of the road. Therefore, now on my right side of the road, but only on the left side of the road. And if I would, that would be a sign of disrespect for them. Uh, it was a lot of abuse, a lot, a lot of abuse from them. They involved in it. Okay, the next thing they did was they wanted to have asphalt in front of the house and they would go and they would totally use uh, gadgets such as recorders. They totally investigated themselves on how they possibly could get into the legal problems, how not, and have police basically advise them, examine, consent with them on how to get this operation going. Uh, they came to conclusion that because this is asphalt here, yeah, asphalt here, uh, they would not be capable to ambush me at night in front of the house uh, and claim uh, I assaulted them. In other words, that I assaulted their area since their houses are right next to the road that is going through this Zhihovacelo village. Based on the number of the steps, based on timing, uh, based on what you hear are obviously the stones here. Oh, that's not good. That's very bad for me. Oh. Shit. Uh, they consented with the police and they exactly uh, came to the terms to what, how far they can push, what they can do about it, what they cannot, and so on and so forth. Uh, but, uh, as a Roma individual stated to me, uh, if uh, you uh, once I put the asphalt in front of the house, yeah, so there is nothing there yet, okay, but they had in plan very soon now to place, uh, to pave the asphalt in front of their home, okay, to make myself clear. Once I put the asphalt, uh, this walking on the asphalt, uh, basically from wherever you would go because it's an asphalted road that goes through the village uh, once they would pave with the asphalt uh, it would not make any difference anymore and they could actually assault me in front of the home uh, claiming that I entered their area and that kind of stuff they already had the novel mess of police uh, intervention vehicles they harassed me in front of their home uh, after the torture on several occasions uh, had me wait for the police for the intervention vehicle to come uh, they used uh, police police was the one who enforced all this stuff used some people uh, other MK Ultra staff members not Roma people, just uh, people here from the city, from the Novo Mesto. Uh, and they were playing with what it will be when the police comes, what are my strengths and what, what are my weaknesses and that kind of stuff. This is basically how it went. Yeah, that's what they were using during MK Ultra to intimidate with. Um, the Roma family as you see that that this roma family here the three brothers uh, best of my knowledge uh, they also have a family in a prekmuria region that is on another side of slovenia so this uh, one is in prekmuria and another one is not in prekmuria another one 
I anticipate is actually even somewhere around Celia. I have to see the map. Uh, and this is where the two Roma guys without uh, as police suggested without the work stable employment without the employment record would uh, well would immigrate uh, as soon as I would go after them and so on and so forth now just as I stated uh, I, I am exactly not the one interested in uh, going after them. Uh, I, however, will demand from the Roma community in Slovenia uh, intervention uh, in respect to this issue. Uh, I will demand from Roma community. I will not go uh, after these two guys only. Uh, I want entire Roma community to help me solve this problem. Because uh, it's a problem that concerns everybody. It's a problem that concerns them, just as it concerns me. Uh, it's a really crime that Slovenian police does not have the right. And uh, these two are members of Slovenian Roma community. That this family, the three brothers are, and so it concerns entire Slovenian Roma community, this issue. Uh, it concerns Slovenian Roma community, even in the terms of uh, a national minority in Slovenia. Yeah, I have seen some program in Slovenia where they have a for the Roma people program in, in a Roma language, and uh, they interpreted it through the violence against me uh, to them how uh, you know they are helping them out how they are on their side and so on but I want to take this a little further uh, and have a Slovenian state recognize them as a minority in Slovenia um, uh, Slovenia did some other terrible crime in this process and uh, it, it, this was the, this was this is another part of the crime in this process because they were trying to denigrate me uh, through the use of uh, uh, national interest by uh, um, misrepresenting me so I'm a Slovenian native uh, and what they wanted to do is they wanted to misrepresent me uh, to the world to the Slovenian people to the issues I had really nothing to do with it concerning uh, minorities in Slovenia so I want to be the one who will take initiative against this racist discriminatory law in Slovenia that prohibits in Slovenia because uh, this is what Slovenian government uh, was apparently disturbed with minority which Slovenia was part of for like a thousand years under the Habsburg rule before since I don't know what century Slovenia was a part of Austria leaving half of the population in Slovenia with the German names and well they did attempted to proclaim Serbian minority here as a minority uh, which is like really really generous uh, gesture toward uh, minority in Slovenia because of which Slovenia lost enormous amount of land such as this Žumberak on the south of Slovenia uh, Karlovac huge portions of Slovenia were gone because they had delivered uh, Serbs who ran from the Balkans 
they were they were in a search of protection and they found this protection under the Habsburg rule. Under the Austro-Hungarian Empire, they found this heaven here, a uh, uh, southern part of Slovenia. Slovenians were very generous. They gave them this land. Uh, and guess what happened next? They separated themselves from Slovenia. They took the land and they separated themselves from Slovenia. Yeah. Uh, these are the people Slovenia wanted to uh, award with a minority status uh, for the sake of genocide that took place in Slovenia, ethnic cleansing in the name of Yugoslavia, it was known as Yugoslavia afterwards. Uh, I, I agree with it. I don't have the problem with it if uh, Slovenian people are comfortable with this. Uh, you know, I'm not the only native here. I'm fine with it. Uh, but uh, let it be the same also for the Roma community. We only have two minorities in Slovenia that are recognized. One is Italian and another one is Hungarian. And these two minorities are actually, how can I say, like ridiculously tiny, small minorities. Like that's why they're also recognized. Uh, but when it comes to the German minority, as, as I stated, half of the population has German last names. Uh, I find it incredibly difficult to accept. The, the Roma man, the Roma guy, the Roma family practically is in the same situation as I am. The situation they push me in is completely indifferent from the situation this Roma family is in. This is identical, totally identical issue. What they have done to me, uh, today, tomorrow, they probably already did. They can do to the Roma individual, to any other individual, by pointing at exactly the opposite issue. And so, because of such a complexity, because of the issues like this. Uh, Slovenia doesn't have any cantons. Slovenia, Slovenia have a parts of Slovenia. Uh, but I found it reasonable uh, because of issues like this implicated in this case uh, for law in respect to minorities uh, to be more open for issues within the society uh, that will prevent, uh, protect the native people here from future cases is the one like my own case, basically. Like exactly what happened to me. Nobody had the right to do this stuff with me. Nobody had to do this. Nobody had any rights to do that kind of stuff. Uh, yet it was done and I am not going to ask about it. Uh, I will demand for this stuff to be implemented. If we have two minorities here, then let's have more minorities here uh, so that the racism, as it was in my case, Slovenia committed itself to, uh, is not going to repeat in the future. So that if the person uh, has to run for life, uh, at least have a place where the person, where the individual can run to. Not that we're going to be like a stray dogs uh, running all over Europe with assassins literally running after us and chopping us in pieces, basically, like, like it was in my case. This is crazy. There was nothing like this recorded ever that somebody would uh, face this kind of issues. It's 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 beyond the racism. This isn't this isn't the ethnic or racial cleansing. Uh, this is this is beyond insane. You know, I feel fortunate to have documented all this stuff, but for the cost of documenting it, I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to waste uh, have not seen have not heard don't know, does not apologize this crime. 
uh, what Milan Kurchan demanded. It's exactly what the stuff I'm talking about is what Milan Kuchan was the one who started. He was the one, he wanted to excuse his crime through the stuff I'm talking about. He was the one who incited MK Ultra into my being German, uh, claiming that uh, it's this kind of stuff that uh, I am trying to do uh, that I try to delete Slovenian people and I don't know what when I had absolutely nothing to do with the Slovenian politic I didn't want to have anything to do with the politic with the fucking Slovenian politic or whatever that's why I immigrated out of Slovenia when I was 23 years old remember actually I immigrated from Slovenia younger when I was 21 years old to Austria but they would not let go so if you don't want to let go and you make me look dirty uh, even in the face of the people here as that i am something and not part of this people here not part of this nation and i am after causing people here only harm and damage and so on uh, let's fucking do it Let's do it exactly the way you wanted to present me as a traitor or whatever you wanted to present me. And let me be the first one who's going to do this shit for everybody. If you don't know anything and you did not know anything, you have not seen anything, you don't remember, you don't know anything. And let me get you into something different so that something like this is not going to repeat again. I will initiate the request. Uh, for Slovenia to have, uh, I don't know, five more minorities recognized, including the Roma, Croatian, and Serbian, and German. And if I'm going to think of another minority, I will demand for that to be also recognized. I will not classify myself, though, into a German minority because I'm Slovenian, I'm a native Slovenian. So, so, too damn bad about that stuff, you see? It says stop right there.